Hello, I want to talk to you about passion and purpose. So at Earth School Community, we say follow your passion to fulfill your higher purpose. So what does that look like? What are the steps to actually do that? So I have some beautiful cards here to illustrate um, what we're talking about. So this card is the passion card. It's really beautiful. It's got that fiery energy. So what is your passion? Your passion can be anything that lights you up, anything that makes you feel like you're in that flow state where time just passes by, nothing is able to distract you. You are just focused on what you're doing and you're so enjoying it. It may be something that you really love talking about. You always find yourself talking about this one thing whenever you meet new people or it's something that everybody knows you for. So people are asking you questions. Maybe you are really good at making home remedies or something. Um, there, there's a certain thing that you have that you enjoy doing, the time passes quickly when you do it, or you love talking about it, and other people are drawn to you for that thing. Um, so think about that. When you are immersed in your passion, you're going to automatically find more clarity around it. So this is because your vibration is matching that of your higher self. So when you're immersed in something that you enjoy doing, you are going to find clarity. That crown chakra opens up, that third eye chakra, and you are in the flow, the information is flowing in, your imagination is wide open and you're receiving information. So you're gonna get more clarity and you are going to feel connected to source. So clarity is what's going to keep you moving forward. The next card is the home card. So start small, start simple, do this at home. You don't have to pressure yourself. Oh, now that I know what my passion is, I have to go do it on a really large scale. No, allow yourself to stay in the vibration of enjoyment. And so when you have a bunch of pressure, you're not going to enjoy that as much. So you want to make sure that you start small, you do this at home or in your community with your neighbors, your family members, whatever it is, share your gifts, start small at home. Um, no expectations, all right? The next card is inspiration. Once you start seeing your own creations, once those people in your life that are close with you are giving you feedback and resonating with what it is that you're doing, um, you're going to receive more inspiration, which means that you're going to find new ways of doing what it is that you are in love with doing. You're going to find new, um, either new ways to do it or more opportunities to do it, okay? So the inspiration will be there. These little, you know, synapses will be firing in your brain and, and connections will be made and it'll be a really exciting time. So that's why you don't wanna pressure yourself there. Just let yourself do it at home so that the inspiration can keep flowing, okay? That is gonna lead you to your life's purpose. When you are embodying joy by simply playing in what you already love to do, you are going to attract, like I, I said, you're gonna attract more people, more opportunities, and you're going to find that the people that need what you have, that unique gift that only you have to offer, through your lens, your vibration of your voice, your experience, your truth is going to lead you to your life's purpose. Um, so it's a step-by-step -step process. We don't say, ooh, I figured out my passion, now this is my life's purpose and I've got to you know, do everything at once to make it happen in a big way. It will come naturally. So allow yourself to follow those steps, passion, clarity, home, inspiration, life purpose, and you will be golden. All right, have a good day.